911, what's your emergency? My father's not breathing. You're gonna do CPR until the ambulance gets there. Let's go, one. Two. Get ready to hold your breath. He's going to jump out the window. Do not hang up. Oxygen True Crime has TV's biggest rush. You stabbed the mail? What did you stab the mail with? Being on a night shift, we generally get more violent calls. That's fired! That's fired! Get here now! Two boys may stop! The calls are real. Okay, please, Kyle, hurry up! Emergency! And lives are on the line. The umbilical cord's around their head. You're helping people in the worst moments of their lives. This baby crying. It's okay, she's breathing. Saving lives and taking names. Course boy, go! He's in the car! When we answer, it could be the difference between life and death. The officers just want to talk to you. They are gonna kill me, I'm gonna kill them. From the Oxygen True Crime has 911 Crisis Center. The new series premieres Saturday, November 6th. Essence, Nancy, good morning. Jeff in Las Vegas. Good morning. Hi, Jeff. how are you? I'm doing good. Are you both in Ohio? Yes, yes sir. Oh, man, you need to come out here, 79 and beautiful. Come out to Vegas. We're on our way. Really? Really? <laughs> awesome, Essence. I'll meet you at the airport, and we'll do the town red. We'll paint the town red. <laughs> Deal. Well, hey, first... what am I, tough liver? No, uh, well, no, no of course. Too. You guys are a pair. You're both going to come. You know, and especially what you... And especially what you both do, you need a vacation, I'm sure, at times. So first, I want to say you are both heroes and everyone who works at the call center. I mean, the definition of first responders starts and ends with you. So congratulations on a, on a job that is, uh, I don't think you get thanked enough or, or thought of enough. Thank you. I appreciate Thank that you. so much. Well, Nancy, how does even one apply to become a 911 call operator? I've always been curious about that. Honestly? I applied. I just filled out an application. Um, I was watching uh, Rescue 911 way back in the day, and I fell in love with it, and I thought, heck, I could do that. So I went and applied at my local sheriff's department, and 30 years later, I'm still doing it. In essence, you know, life and death could be a factor for each call. Does your adrenaline ever stop? Um, when you're in the moment, it, it kind of does because you're kind of not even thinking about it. <clears throat> um, we, we've done this over and over. We're trained to do this. Um, so in, in that moment, you don't really feel it. But then afterwards, like after everything's calmed down, after there's a resolution, then that's when everything kind of hits you. So, you know, my adrenaline usually hits after the call is over. You know, it's like, OK, well, you're done. Right. But the anxiety has just begun because then you realize what it is that you actually just did. Yeah, because I think I, I was watching some of the episodes and you don't say the Q word because then if you say quiet, if everything <laughs> all of a sudden everything starts breaking, breaking apart. You no, know, the phones light up, right? Absolutely. And, you know, sometimes I'll say it just to get a, a rise out of my coworkers. And it usually falls on me when I do say it. I'm usually trying to jinx somebody else and I end up jinxing myself. <laughs> and <laughs> That'll learn you. And, and Nancy, the night shift is the most active, isn't it? That's where most of the violent crimes happen. It is. We get the uh, bar fights and the vehicle pursuits. And not that that stuff can't happen during the day because it does. But we usually are, we're usually pretty busy from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Um, you know, not much good happens after about midnight when there's alcohol involved. So, <laughs> In essence, you know, what really surprised me about the show and what you do was the multitasking that you do, you know, I thought it was, you know, you, you not only are speaking to the, to the caller, but you're contacting the police or fire department or you're, you're typing in information and you're doing three or four jobs at once. Yes. Uh, multitasking is a, uh, an extremely, it, it's an important part of what we do. Um, like you said, we're on the phone with the callers. We have our coworkers giving us additional information. We have the officers talking to us, the fire department, you know, um, we're entering this information like it's a we're like an octopus with eight arms you know and each arm during these calls is doing something different uh oh here come essence you here to what time um depends on what happens yesterday i said the q word thinking we'll get some action in euclid and maple within the next two hours i got three ovis that's because your dumbass said the q word dispatchers are extremely superstitious. The Q word is quiet. 
As soon as someone says that word, everything blows up in dispatch. It was a bad accident. Engine 13, engine 2, both in route. Arfield Heights, Bedford Heights, Valley View have all been called. We're going to get a squad right over to you. It's going to be all right. Being on a night shift, we generally get more violent calls. Bar fights, shootings, robberies, domestics. It could be anything. Police have said, I hear gunshots. You got shots fired. I got it, I got it. Oh my, God. my boyfriend is shooting off a gun in the house. I heard a gunshot and I ran upstairs. I said, what happened? And he says, oh, I just shot a hole in the ceiling by accident. Okay, is anybody in the home still? No, I'm in my car. Radio 94, the uh, caller should be locked in her car in the driveway. I think he's coming out to the car to see what he's doing. Okay. Lock your doors. Are you able to get away from the area? No, because his car is blocking me in the driveway. OK. I heard another gunshot. Now I see him in the backyard. Well, we're going to take care of this for you. He has a gun with him right now, and he's in the backyard. Caller said he's in the backyard. He's in the backyard. Domestic calls can go from a simple yelling match. I think when you call a 911 operator, it's just one person, but no, you were like multitasking again. It's just, it's such a group effort. And I, I find that not only just, it just bonds you as a family, doesn't it? Working so close together. It, it really does. We are a family. And um, I mean, we fight like family too, trust us, but <laughs> uh, it's, it is, it is absolutely a team effort. We are 100% um, team oriented. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. I couldn't do this job without them. So I'm thankful that my, my friends and my coworkers pick up the slack for me when I'm, you know, doing CPR or something, somebody has to answer my radio, that sort of thing. Um, it's, it's beyond multitasking. I like to call it hypertasking at this point because we just do so much. Um, it might look easy, but it is definitely not an easy job. And uh, yeah, it can be I, ex extremely trying at times. I don't think, Nancy, anyone ever thinks it was an easy job to be a <laughs> one, one call operator. That, that's, that's, that's never on our minds. But I have to say, ladies, the last thing for today before I leave you is that also I realize how important it is not to use 911 if it's not an emergency. I mean, <laughs> you know, you must get so many calls sometimes where, you know, you have to be polite, but I mean, it ties up the lines where someone who may need you. <laughs> so for me, I'm a little more sympathetic and easygoing with these people when they call, you know, when it's not an emergency, um, because for some people, it is an emergency to them them locking their keys in their car, sometimes they do feel like that's an emergency. Um, and, and to us, it's not. So we, we have to educate people. That, that's the bottom line is educating people like, hey, you know, I know you're going through something right now, but think of it as a life or death situation. This isn't a life or death situation. Um, so a, a lot of people misuse 911 purposely, but sometimes to them, it's a bigger deal than what it actually is. So, you know, we, we kind of just have to, our bottom line, we have to educate people like, hey, that's not a 911 emergency. Call the regular line for that. Well, you, you ladies are both. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I will educate you once you get here to Las Vegas. We'll have a good time. You know, yes, because you both deserve it. And uh, thank you for your service. And uh, we'll talk again soon. Thank, thank you. you so much.